are starting a new work week and Hurricane Lee is still the top of mind for many folks and for good reason. Hurricane Lee late last week strengthened to a category five hurricane and all weekend long it has been fighting off a lot of wind shear coming at it from the north, which actually caused it to weaken down to a category two storm at one point. But the wind shear has started to back off and now Lee is strengthening yet again. As of the 5 a.m. Eastern time advisory with Hurricane Lee, it's a category three storm with 120 mile per hour winds moving northwestward at seven miles per hour. Now the inner core of the system because of all that wind shear has been disrupted. Uh, you can see kind of the, the brighter colors, not necessarily the dark colors on the northern side of the eye, indicating that there has been some dry air that has entrained itself in the center of circulation. So it's going to be up to Lee over the course of the next couple of days to fight off that dry air, attempt to reorganize itself and potentially undergo another period of rapid strengthening. Uh, expected to become a category four storm later on Monday into Tuesday, but then passing very close to Bermuda as a category two storm Friday morning. Now, Lee is still going to be moving pretty slowly for the next couple of days, but once we get to about Thursday and Friday, the system is going to quickly pick up speed. Now, Here's where things get a little bit dicey with Hurricane Lee. Of course, it is still expected to strengthen again back into that Category 4 storm, but as it picks up speed moving past Bermuda, the system will weaken. But what's going to really happen is the system is going to likely undergo a transition from a tropical cyclone into an extra tropical cyclone. That means the wind speeds will likely come down, but the footprint of the storm, the impacts, the wind gust threat, the heavy rain threat is going to expand. So even though this system may potentially not make a direct landfall in the United States, there still could be some impacts, especially up into New England uh, through Saturday. Notice that most of our computer forecast models and Sunday and Monday of next week uh, take this into far eastern Maine, Nova Scotia or New Brunswick. Uh, now, especially in Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick, uh, there could be the potential for a direct landfall. But again, as the system starts to weaken, transition into an extra tropical cyclone, that wind field is going to expand. So realistically, anyone from New Jersey and Long Island up into New England still needs to keep a very keen eye on this system for much of the uh, East Coast of the United States. There is going to be some very high surf uh, potential for some coastal erosion. But as far as rain and wind impacts go, uh, it may not be until this forthcoming weekend that we start to see that up into New England, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Uh, cold fronts actually going to help to keep the system off the coast for a while. And then another mini cold front is going to be moving towards it by this upcoming weekend, September 16th and 17th, helping to kind of push it up towards Maine, up into New Brunswick and also Nova Scotia as well. Right now it looks pretty likely that there's going to be near hurricane force wind gusts around the envelope of the system. Uh, the big question mark though is how widespread those impacts will be. High surf potential for beach erosion. Like I mentioned, wind and rain impacts are going to be possible uh, starting as early as Thursday, which would be the 14th all the way into the upcoming weekend and Long Island up to Nova Scotia needs to keep a very close watch on this system. We also have another tropical system, Margo which is a tropical storm moving its way northward over the coming days. And we have two waves that are going to be moving their way towards the United States or towards uh, the Central Atlantic, I should say, off the coast of Africa. One has only a 10% chance of development, but another wave that's kind of hidden by that box uh, that is going to be moving its way into the main development region of the Atlantics and has a 60% chance of turning into a tropical storm over the next seven days.